two-day period here at Carnoustie without some antics at 18. We had Laura Davies posting a nine after hitting it over the scoreboard into the burn. Christy Kerr being distracted in the burn double bogey. And then Angela Stanford with the ruling that we waited for. Always something going on at 18. There is always something. And, of course, we saw the whole Jean Vandervelde uh, episode. Uh, it's a great finishing hole, and, and they have moved it back a little bit, 4.06. So players uh, with the wind coming slightly into them and off the right. It's making them think off the tee. And we've seen a couple of players miss it left, having to lay up. Uh, I've seen distractions. We've seen people... Uh, uh, distracted by uh, right. phones, all sorts of things down there on the left side. Look ahead now to the weekend. Tomorrow, at least, is supposed to be very much like today. Maybe Sunday, some kind of weather, a little bit of wind coming in. But really, we're not expecting any kind of real Carnoustie weather to affect no. play. No, and, and in a way, it's a little disappointing because you do expect that when you come to Scotland. But as far as scoring and having an opportunity to win uh, the Rico British Women's Open, I think these players are excited. The fact that the course is right in front of them, it is perhaps playing a tad on the easy side, but everyone plays the same golf course, Terry. And it doesn't really matter what hole, what the par says, it's how many below par you can get. Just the lowest score is going to win. Keep making birdies and try and eliminate your mistakes. And while normally uh, normally you think of 16, 17, and 18, it's in your mind as a player mm. coming down this stretch. Right. You can eliminate maybe 17. It's not nearly as difficult. Very easy hole as a par five. But 16 is very difficult. And then always in the back of your mind, I can make a big number at 18. And that's certainly true today. It was yesterday, and it will be even more so over the weekend. So yeah. we look forward to Absolutely. weekend play. Back with you, 10 a.m. Eastern time and full coverage, an extra hour over on the internet with ESPN3. So join us once again. It's, yeah, there are some brave souls here. They just, yesterday, people swimming in that water. Mm. Oh, it's a lovely summer day. <laughs> not in the water, it's not. <laughs> so uh, see you tomorrow once again here at Carnoustie. A reminder coming up next is Sports Center. NB Park with a 64 Eight under today, so too for the Hall of Famer, Sayri Pak. Lindsay Comb, an American who's there, but the only American flag on that first page of the leaderboard. Yeah, Brittany Lindsay Comb, yes. Uh, it's interesting, Sayri Pak inspired so many of her younger generation country women. They're doing very well, and uh, it'll be interesting to see who will rise to the top. The cream is certainly rising as we look at the leaderboard. When you look at this championship, Americans have won it nine times, but Sherry Steinauer back in 2006, the only time it's been won by an American during the time that it's been a major championship, and that happened back in 2001. So Paula Creamer and the rest of the American contingent trying to make their way back to the top here in the final major of the season. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For our entire crew, I'm Terry Gannon. So long, everybody, from Carnoustie.